Hi, this is Mike Levine, U.S. Editor for Audio Fanzine. In this video, I'll be showing you about the app Capo, which is available for Mac. There's also an iOS version, and at the moment it doesn't have the same features, but it's going to be updated soon and will be uh, equivalent in terms of functionality. Now I'm going to open up a song file, and Capo can handle many different formats. And you can see that Capo has created a waveform display at the top, spectrogram display in the middle, and the spectrogram shows you the frequencies of the audio and the intensity. If you click on a note in the spectrogram and then pull downward with the cursor, you'll hear a MIDI piano sound representing that note, and then you'll see the note appears in the tablature at the bottom. So it's a quick way you can tab out stuff. At the bottom are the chords that were detected by Capo, those usually require some editing. The chord detection is not 100% uh, by any stretch, but you can change them and edit them and move them around until you get it where you want. One of the most impressive things about Capo is the quality of its speed and pitch algorithms. Check this out. I'm going to hit play. Here's speed, which can either be adjusted by these presets, or you can get finer increments by just grabbing and moving the slider. It sounds really good. It's great for slowing down fast passages to learn them. The pitch control lets you change the key of the song. And notice that the chords update in the chord display. If I click this button over here, I get the song settings window which features three tabs, each with a variety of tools to help you with the learning process. For instance, under effects, you have a mono button, and there's also a slider, which is designed primarily for play along recordings. If you move it to one side or the other, you can isolate either side, and then with the mono button on, you hear it in the middle, so that's kind of a cool feature. The equalizer helps you isolate different frequency areas in the recording, as you can hear. And it has presets that let you quickly switch between various ranges. Okay, here I've loaded another song, this one with some vocals in it to show you the voice reduction feature. The voice reduction is a center channel canceling feature, allowing you to remove most of the lead vocal from the center channel, which is useful when you're learning vocals on a song and want to try it yourself. You can also set it on manual and slide this around to mess with the range of the effect. The Beats tab is where you find tempo readout and you set the time signature. Now watch, if I change the time signature, the bar beat grid changes accordingly. You can also control the metronome and count in from here. Under the Notes tab is where you find the capo feature. First, you select the instrument you're using, and as you can see, capo supports seven different instruments. It was really five instruments, and there's three versions of the bass, uh, four string, five string, and six string. You select an instrument and you can then select a tuning for it. And that obviously doesn't change the audio in the recording, but it changes the chords and tablature when you set a different tuning. So you can look at the tablature and chord for the same piece with different tunings on that instrument. Pretty cool. You can also set a virtual capo and capo up. And again, that will change the chords and tab accordingly. Now setting regions is possible. You just select in the waveform display, and then you have a region. You can color code it and name it if you want. You can have multiple regions, and the best thing is you can loop it. You can practice something looped with it slowed down, and it makes learning really easy. And you can even have multiple regions if you want. So there you go, some of the key features in Capo.